Testing, testing, uno, dos, tres, catorce. He's the go-to guru for great design ideas. Not that there's anything wrong with him. He's edgy. He's in your face. The lead designer and host of HGTV's Design on a Dime. We're talking about a totally outrageous paradigm. Putting the improv in home improvement. It's time for Let's Be Frank with Frank Fontana. It's time for Frank's faves, my favorite things. This is in my little uh, bag of goodies. Um, I, you know, I like to just try things and share with you my experiences with these things. And uh, this week, I got the opportunity to try some new tools, which I always love. And uh, this company, Dual Tools, pretty cool idea. Remember I said before the, the break that uh, two is better than one? Well... I tried this reciprocating saw this weekend that literally tore through a 4x4 four four in seconds, and it was awesome. I mean, if you're if you're kind of a tool junkie, you want to check out this company, Dual Tools. And joining me on the phone is uh, Chad Allison from Dual Tools. Hey, Chad, how are you? Good morning, Frank. How are you this morning? I'm fantastic. Thanks for waking up early with me. Where are you calling in from? I'm actually just calling in from Michigan. Michigan? Oh, you're not too far away. No. I don't feel that bad. Usually we get calls from California and people are up at like, you know, three or four in the morning. Hey, when you're passionate and love what you do, it's no problem getting up this early in the morning. No doubt about that, my friend. I know that. Uh, listen, so tell me about Dual Tools. How long have you guys been around? So the Dual Tools actually started in uh, 2008, which was the original, um, if those of your listeners that may remember, the original Omni Dual Saw, which was the dual blade counter-rotating technology circular saw that was launched on TV with Anthony Sullivan and Billy Mays back in 2008. From <laughs> yeah. there, that's kind of where we we took a look at this and went, holy doodle, we got something amazing here. And since 2008, we've actually sold over a million units of that one particular saw. And from there, we've just continued to develop products and taken the idea of how do we make innovative, safe, awesome tools for those people out there that use tools on a regular basis, whether they're an entry-level DIY consumer or they're a professional user, and how do we make their lives easier and safer with tools? Because let's be honest, tools are not the safest thing in the world to be using if you don't know what you're doing. Nope. I have a carpenter friend named Johnny One Thumb. <laughs> exactly. That's legit. He's got one thumb, and it's because of tools. And, and it, all, it all kind of stemmed from that. And, and so we've been developing our tools since 2008, 2009, and just taking this idea of, of two blades and took a look at all of the other portable power tools that are out there and just started to develop cool technology based on that theory. So yeah. that brought us to uh, three dual saws. We have a three-inch version, a four-and-a-half-inch version, and a six-and-a-half-inch version. Uh, we just recently launched, and um, I'm glad to hear that you had a great experience with the RS-1200, our dual-blade reciprocating saw, which is the world's first dual-blade reciprocating saw and the world's safest reciprocating saw. Hey, it's a beast. I mean, I love it. it you could, it's like cuts through wood like butter. Exactly. And, and what's really great about that, and, and uh, I'll jump ahead a little bit on that, and the amazing thing about the dual blade reciprocating saw, and for those of your listeners that are trying to understand what it means, if you've ever used an electric turkey carving knife at Thanksgiving to cut up that bird, sure. now imagine taking that and putting it into a reciprocating saw, and, and that's really what we, we've offered and delivered to the marketplace. And what becomes awesome about that is there's no kickback, there's little to no vibration, and you, the user, are in control of the saw the whole time. That's what I noticed. I didn't get any typical kick kickback because, you know, I've, I've used an array of tools, and sometimes, you know, you got a good amount of power in your hands, and it, you, you start to jump a little bit, and, you know, even if you're a strong guy, it's still moving in your hands a little bit. This felt really smooth to me. Oh, definitely, for sure, Frank. And, and what's been really great about it is when we put it in the hands of the professional contractor users, even they have come back and said, wow, I use a reciprocating saw all day long, day in, day out. And at the end of the day, my, my body hurts, my arms hurt, my forearms hurt, because I'm literally fighting that saw the whole day. And what's been great is they've come back and said, I'm not tired at the end of the day. It, my, my bones don't hurt, my muscles don't hurt, because I'm the one using the saw, not the saw using me. I'm not trying to control this thing. I like that when analogy. When we put it in the hands of, of um, individuals who, who would never take a look at a reciprocating saw in their life, because they look at that, six, nine, or 12-inch blade that's just free-wielding at the end of this thing and put it in their hands and allow them to start to use it, 
you can literally see when they start to cut with it, their body just relax because they're not nervous or, or uptight or scared of the tool anymore because they realize they're the one controlling the tool. You know what I dug about it, Chad, is that when you, if you're switching to going from up and down to left and right, there's a feature on there that you could just pop a little lever and turn the actual handle and it stays upright. Like the, the handle part stays upright, but the, the blade part turns sideways. Explain that. Well, exactly. It's got a 180 degree rotating handle on it. So uh, if I'm a left-handed guy, so <laughs> if I'm working on a project with a miter saw, the guys that are right-handed hate me because I set everything up in their world backwards. Right. But what's really great about the, the RS 1200 is that 180 degree rotating handle. And so it allows you, the user, to not have to contort your body or twist your body in some weird configuration to make that cut. All you have to do is twist the handle. And it, it goes 90 degrees one way and 90 degrees the other way, and it has 45-degree increments on that way, too. So you, if you need to make an angle cut, you still don't have to contort your body. You can hit that angle cut just by rotating the handle. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Now let's talk about this OS 3000 oscillating tool. Ah, the world of oscillating tools or multi-tools, as they're called, so commonly referred to. So we took a look at, at the oscillating tool market, and it just exploded over the last 10 years yeah. here in, in North America. And we really started to look at what can we do to this tool to just make it better? How do we put the user back in control of the tool? And if you've ever used a single-blade oscillating tool, you'll, you'll find that it has a tendency to not necessarily kick back like a reciprocating saw does, but they like to jump. They do. They, they vibrate heavily. Exactly. You're, you're only working with like 2.3 or 3.2 degrees of stroke, so it's, it's not an overly aggressive tool from that perspective, but it vibrates a lot. And, and if you want to make a very accurate cut, and, and the best example I give people is you're going you to cut the door frame or the trim around a door because you're laying a new floor, with a single blade oscillating tool, you've got one shot to hit that line with the flooring to make sure that you're going to nip off the bottom of that door trim so that your floor is going to slide underneath of it. I just if used one miss, for that exact purpose. Exactly. And if you miss, you've got a mark on your door frame that you now have to try and fix or clean or mm -hmm. up to make it look good again. With the dual blades, it bites right away. So you, the moment you put it up to that line, that's exactly where the tool is going to go. It goes right into that mark, and it makes a nice, clean, smooth cut all the way through. So we know now that two blades are good, better for accuracy, right? Better for power. Um, in terms of overall speed, does it speed up the project? Well, that, that's a great question, Frank. And, and what we originally, when we originally created, when you go back to the reciprocating saw for a moment. When we originally created the reciprocating saw, we thought, Pfft, geez, we're going to blow every single blade out of the water because we're going to cut twice as fast as a single blade. And what we found was, was actually we were able to get it to cut at the same speed because, in theory, we're moving twice as much material as a single blade. So you don't lose with a dual blade any of the speed or, that you would get with a single blade because on a single blade reciprocating saw, it's very aggressive. It goes right through, and that's, its just job is to, to, to destroy where with a dual blade reciprocating saw, it's, its job is to give you that nice, clean, smooth, finished cut, but still offer you all of the great advantages that you've got with a single blade. So so how far can you take this dual blade concept? I mean, are you working on a jigsaw right now? Oh, of course. That was the, You're lifting the covers on everything. So I had This was a straight-up <laughs> guess. I had no idea. <laughs> yes, definitely. We actually are We're in the development stages, final development stages, actually, on a dual blade jigsaw um, we're also taking a look at a dual blade hole saw and what we have found is the plug extraction and the tear through that's experienced with a hole saw is all eliminated there is no tear through and the plug literally drops right out so if you've ever used a hole saw before yeah you know to put in that that doorknob on your uh, in your interior door or on your front door or you're putting in a new faucet in your bathroom and you've had to use a hole saw to make that cut, you'll know that they just, they're just they never easy to get the plug out and it just rips out the back of it when it when it breaks through. I've thrown away many of, of, of blades when we're talking hole saws because the, the, it just stuck in there. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And, yeah. and so we've, we've, got, um, we've got a dual blade hole saw, we've got a dual blade jigsaw, 
Um, and we've also, you know, we've also got some other technologies that uh, we're working on that are kind of take some things and turn them on their head and, and shake them upside down. So I love that. For your listeners out there, it would be great to, to, to gain some, some social media followers because we like to tease our customers and at the same time keep them in abreast of what we're developing. Because to us, the most important part is uh, myself, I was a general contractor before I got into doing what I do today. And so it's great to be able to have those individuals that use the tools provide their feedback on what they'd like to see as features and benefits on the tool. Also. So, so how can, uh, how can uh, the fans interact with you? So we have our Facebook page, Dual Tools. Um, we're also on uh, Twitter at Dual Tools. And um, by all means, on our website, we have an op- option to contact us, and we'd be more than welcome to hear from individuals about uh, ideas that they have with regards to features and benefits on tools. Sounds great, Chad. Thanks so much for calling in. Great tools, great product. Uh, Keep the innovation coming. It's fantastic. It's dualtools.com.